Benvenuto. Welcome to Cherry Hill Home Cooking. My name is Mark. Today we're going to make five cup fruit salad. Uh, this is definitely a blast from my past. Uh, this is something that uh, we always had uh, on the holidays, uh, really any day that there was uh, going to be a big gathering um, because it makes a lot um, and uh, everybody loves it. Um, if you were born prior to 1980, you've probably had this in some form or another. Um, if not, and if this is something new, uh, I hope you guys try it. It is so easy. We're actually not going to do any cooking or baking today. All we're going to do is mix together. So uh, what we need for our five cup fruit salad is, the reason it's called a five cup fruit salad is, is that there's five ingredients with the exception of the uh, maraschino cherries for garnish, but other than that, it's a, a cup of um, each. So uh, we need one cup of uh, mini marshmallows. We're going to need a cup of flaked um, coconut. Uh, we need a cup of um, pineapple tidbits. Um, I've tried using crushed pineapple and I've used the big ones. You definitely want to get the tidbits, all right? Um, and uh, a cup of uh, mandarin oranges and a cup of sour cream. Um, okay, and of course, uh, you're gonna strain your juice from the oranges and the pineapple. All right, believe it or not, that's really all there is to it. So let's get right into it, all right? So this happens to be a one cup container of sour cream. So, uh, and then you, you're gonna need a good sized bowl, okay? Bigger than a small bowl. You don't necessarily need a large bowl, a medium bowl, because uh, you're going to mix all this together and we're going to try not to break up the uh, oranges too much. So let's get our sour cream in there. Get every bit out of it. I always give that a little bit of a mix, get it kind of spread around a little bit. Um, all right, let's get our marshmallows in. All right, I didn't measure out the marshmallows because it's hard to get a perfect cup of marshmallows so can be heaping a little bit and of course a couple always get away but a couple more in for good measure all right throw that in our bowl get those two guys Of course, that was going to fall down. <laughs> All right, uh, then we got our pineapple. And we got our mandarin oranges. Just a little toss, and then I always, uh, I don't know, you know, you get a habit of certain ways you do things. I always put the um, coconut in last. I like to kind of shred it around a bit, just in case there's any big lumps of it. As I said, this is a quick, easy dessert. It's not, well, it's a salad, a salad dessert. Um, but it's delicious, I think at least. Every time I eat it, it's like being 10 years old again. All right, so then the only thing we have to do is kind of toss this all together. And like I said, you want to kind of try to fold it in so we don't necessarily break up all our nice orange chunks we used to uh, have this in the summertime too if we were having a cookout or something like that this also makes a great um, potluck uh, thing to bring along with you if any of you are going to anybody's house over the holidays or not cooking yourselves throw this together the night before you go and it will get eaten all up all right that's really believe it or not that is all that we're gonna do to this now the one secret is you want to let this chill thoroughly okay for at least a couple hours Longer is better, even overnight is probably the best. That way um, your uh, marshmallow is going to absorb a little bit of um, 
the uh, orange and pineapple flavor and any uh, juice that was left in them. All right, that's it. So we're going to cover this with some nice airtight. And then all we're going to do, yep, look at that. I knew that little piece was going to come over there. Sometimes on a, a metal bowl, really the Preston uh, seal works. Regular um, saran wrap won't stick to the bowl. All right, so we're going to put this in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours. Longer is better. Overnight is best. And we're ready to eat. See you in a few hours. Okay, we're back. Our five cup fruit salad has chilled for a few hours, about two and a half. Um, mm -hmm. That's the minimum. And um, although it's a very simple, easy thing to put together, just like in life, you put it in a Nice pretty dish <laughs> and it looks fantastic. It's so cute, isn't it? It looks like it's something good to <laughs> Alright, let's give it a taste. Mm. I don't think I've ever had this. I don't think I've made this for you. It's been a long time since I actually made it. I tried it. Did you get mm. it? Got a bit of pineapple. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> Such Tastes exactly as I remember. Yeah. So simple. Yep. I mean, it's nice because mm. it's not really overly sweet. You get all the nice little uh, fruit in there. I think it's delicious. Mm. This is a wonderful little dessert. First course. Mm. Um, that's so easy. Especially after you have a heavy meal. Right. So it's kind of light. Yep. Nice. Mm. That's true. Very yeah. true. Yep. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Mm. I think it's absolutely delicious. Mm. There's an old school big dessert. <laughs> I think that's all I have to say. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Please like us. Please subscribe. And check us out on cherryhillhomecooking.com. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Ciao. Thank you so much. Bye. Mm. It's yummy. Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know how we do it. I don't know how we do it.